so today i am going to tell something about uh, gems equipments which i usually use while identification uh, you can say a basic identification of gemstones what i am using right now uh, here are some basic tools you can also use when you're when you have uh, bought any okay. i am using this gauge you can buy from any lab equipment this i use for measurement of my stones in mm size for example this is a garnet so how i measure it i will show you you can okay you will put it in a table like this and so this is 8 mm size like this you will uh, measure the size of a gemstone okay and 6.5 is it's with it so it's like 8 by 6.5 okay that's how you can measure the mm size of a gemstone next i am using this vernier caliber this also tells you you can for example oh, turn it as zero and then you can fix the gemstones in vernier caliber okay and there are there are different types of uh, vernier caliber in digital and uh, manual also manual is you can do by manual because also like this here are written some sizes so you can judge the sizes here in mm size and you can measure or count the sizes by yourself also next what i'm using this is this is diamond low triplet 10x 20 mm lens this also i'm using to see inclusion inside the gemstones so i will open it like this okay this i am using for looking into the inclusion of our gemstones you can pick it like this and keep it in your eyes shop and look into the gemstones it will give you a very good result next i am using this is polariscope pocket size polariscope it tells me the stone whether stone is sr or dr if i want to get a ri of a stone then i need to check from this whether it is sr or dr so it will tell me ident basic identification of the gemstone because there are some gemstones which are sr and dr next i'm using calci filter i use yeah i use it usually for sapphires and rubies <coughs> It give, gives me the basic result of the rubies. This I am using for basic result of rubies and sapphires. You will hold like this and you will put on under yellow light and will see through it. So it will give you the basic result of the corundum family. Next I am using dichroscope. <coughs> I basically use it for emerald identification. It gives me the basic identification of uh, emerald gemstones. Whenever I will see through it there must be two colors in an emerald gemstones like light green and dark green this i'm using for basic identification of emerald gemstones this tweezer i have tweezer which has clip it is easy for me to pick gemstones and hold gemstone in it i will pick like this and then lock the so it's easy to pick like this then i unlock the clip and remove it like this there are also other tweezers without clip tweezers which has no clip one is this weapon this is for making photography of a stone i hold the this this tweezer hold the gemstone and then it is easy for taking photo from this type of equipment and if sometimes my customer says to give them actual measurement of a stone i keep this scale beside the gemstone then they tell the visual size of a stone to the customer easily they can easily judge uh, how uh, what is the size of a stone in mm this is a pocket size scale which i keep it in my bag always if i move here and there and this is medium size scale for doing the weight of a gemstone then uh, this is also a scale which tells me at least 5 kg weight then i am using here stone cleansing Cloth. this is a leather leather type cloth and it cleans the stone very clean it gives luster and shine of a cleansing from it when we pick the stones in hand our fingerprints are left on the surface of the gemstone so we have to clean it by this cloth this cloth is a leather cloth which cleans the surface very easily and another thing i am using this stone holder also you can take photos and uh, 
so you can take photos from it this is also very nice equipment I will remove it like this tally okay next I have this scope this I use for picking the gemstones because sometimes small stones we cannot pick so I use like I keep my basic equipment here here like this so my equipment remains uh, safe because uh, in open air there can be dust inside them so like this I keep them they keep my equipment here in this box and this is very nice box you can carry also with you if you go outside uh, meeting with your customer so there are also many other equipments for identification like refractometer like uh, spectrum like uh, uh, knowing RI or like knowing SG I will tell you about them in my later video so thank you now for having with me see you next time thank you
Hello guys, today I'm going to show you some basic tools which you can use while identification of gemstones or some basic equipments which you should always have in your gemstone bag. Okay, so what I am using here this is light which I use uh, for this is lead white and yellow and UV light so this is yellow light and this is white light and this is UV light this I am using okay 